All right, um, one of you get up. All right, Trent's got me. All right, move around, walk around. Where is Trent? Is he in any place? That place, that place, that place, that place, that place. Alright, but it's not, he's not in... A place. His place. A place, right? Mm -hmm. He's moving, ain't he? Alright, you sit down. Now what about this? It's in a place, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> now what did I do to it? You moved it out of place. place. I moved it out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> now Pitt didn't have a place, did he? Oh, praise God. All right. <laughs> it rains on the same 
sun doesn't really move, it's the earth that's <laughs> rotating. Okay? Now, guys, listen to me. You can't take one part of a verse and interpret it one way, and then flip gears and interpret it another way. You've got to keep sailing straight on through. Right. Unless the text changes it, but it doesn't, does it? Right. It says he makes his son to rise, and then he changes the rain. Those are both movements, and let's just take it, all right? If we take the viewpoint that is that Jesus is lying, that he's a fibbing, that he's not smart enough to understand how the thing works, uh, let's just say that he got it wrong and uh, that it's really the earth that's moving, okay? So if the sun is standing still and the earth is moving around the sun, then you know what that would mean? <laughs> you know what that would mean for the next point about the rain? It ain't the rain that's moving, it's the earth moving under the rain. Yeah. You know how stupid that sounds? Yeah. Go ahead and fly. We run into the rain. The next time it rains, just stand there and wait for be on a on a little uh, what is it, escalator, just move along, you know. That don't that don't happen. Right. I stand and boom, the, the rain comes over me. And anybody in here has the earth move under your feet to go into the rain, or has it been that the rain come to you? Folks, I'm telling you again, it ain't rocket science. Right. We got two things in one verse that are moving, and you can't say, well, this one's not moving this way, but the other one is. You've got to interpret it the same way. That's called Bible hermeneutics. I want to right. interpret it and again. The Bible says, study to show thyself a proof of the God and walk in the deep of the sea. Right, it's divided. It's the word of truth. I don't care what they call me. I'm going to look at what the Bible says. Right. Lord, Lord, Lord. Amen. <laughs> One more verse. Amen. Acts. The book of Acts. Chapter 7. Oh, God, take your seat. Acts chapter 7, verse 49. Now this is um, Stephen, Deacon Stephen, preaching. He comes. <laughs> All right, now listen to what, now, now listen, Stephen is quoting Isaiah 66, 1. Now this is what he's quoting, Isaiah 66, 1, but this is what he says in Acts 7, 49. Listen to what he says. Heaven is my throne. Who's saying that? Jesus. God is, right. Jesus, God. This one says, can you read me that next statement? And, what? Earth. Earth? Is that what's Okay, oh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, very, very interesting. 